Hi Maddie, thanks so much for sending your question. Um, I just wanted to let you know that Snap Math has tutors here to help you from 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. Sunday through Thursday. So if you do send your question in during the hours of 4 p.m. to 10 p.m., we'll make sure and respond to it right away. Um, let's take a look at the question you sent in. It looks like we want to go ahead and solve for x here, but we have a logarithmic expression going on here. So there are a couple key rules of logarithms that we need to know to solve logarithmic equations. And this is the one we're going to be using for this problem. It basically says if we have two logarithms and they have the same base, notice that these have the same base here, b for base, <laughs> um, and they are separated by addition, meaning we're just adding them together, we can combine them into one logarithm with the same base if we just multiply the inputs together. So here the input of our first logarithm is a, and the input of our second logarithm is c, so this becomes log base b of a times c. That's the first thing we're going to do um, to solve this equation. We're going to use that rule so that this becomes log. This is technically base 10. Um, but whenever we write log with no base, it just means base 10. So this becomes log of 5x times 2. These are the same base, so I just combined the inputs, multiplied them together, and put it into one input. And the right-hand side, we're just going to carry down. That is still equal to 10. Let's go ahead and simplify the left-hand side. 5x times 2 is really 10x, so what we have here is that log base 10 of 10x is equal to 10. Now that we have a single logarithm on the left-hand side, we're going to go ahead and exponentiate both sides of this so that we can get the x out of the logarithm. We're going to exponentiate using the same base as the logarithm. The log is base 10. So we're also going to use a base 10 exponent, and we're going to raise both sides. So 10 to the log base 10 of 10x is equal to 10 to the 10. I just raised both sides here. Let's go ahead and simplify. This, the logarithm and the exponent, now cancel each other out because they're the same base. And all I'm left with is the input, which is 10x. And the right-hand side is now 10 to the 10. Let's go ahead and get x by itself so we can solve for it, dividing both sides by 10. I get that x is equal to 10 to the 10 over 10. That's a lot of 10s. <laughs> to simplify this, let's go ahead and think of 10 as 10 to the 1. And we can use our rules of exponents since I have the same base and I'm dividing these exponential expressions here. This becomes 10 to the 10 minus 1, which is 10 to the 9th. And that's your final answer for this question. Thanks again for your question, Maddie. I look forward to answering more of your questions using SNAP Map in the future.